Baka hindi ko ba ngay tuon kay Kristo ang atong mga civic servant leaders, ang atong mga team of pastors, ang atong mga hindi ko ba nga nag-join karon ka na to via live streaming sa inyong mga balay-balay. Happy Fiesta! Or as one of our team members would say, Happy Virtual Fiesta. Lisod man karon magdigom, pero sa pagtuo, kita tanan, nagahiliusa, kita tanan, we become one, and no distance can tear that apart. So wherever you are, especially tibuok man tawe, ang atuhang pagtuo, nagayunite karon ka na itong tanan through this Eucharist. Mga Iksuan, na ay usa ka tigwa nga pari nga nagpauli na sa konvento, nagsakay sa subway train. Dito man sa gawasang atong nasod, no? O ga, pag sakay niya sa subway train, grabe d'yo dang iyang pag-smile o ga, pagtawa nga daw gipunggan ba? Curious about it, kay na-notice man sang lalaki across him, seated opposite him, namang kutana katong lalaki, the gentleman, and he said, Father, excuse me, I can't help but notice that you have been smiling since you boarded the train. May I ask, what do you find so funny? So na curious man to, kay ang pari to ginapungga niya ba, ginakontrol niya lang, pero nagagawaskit ang iyang sound na pag-smile o pag-tawa. The priest, ang tigawa ng pari, answered, Ah, I just came from the home for the elderly. St. Joseph's home for the elderly. And while I was exiting, I saw, nakita ko, duha katiguang lalaki nga may gibutang in front sa istatwa ni San Jose. Nagduol ako o nakita ko ang ilang gibutang sa tiilan ni San Jose isa empty beer can. No? Pasiyo sang serbisa ba? Sa tiilan sa istatwa. Karon, The priest inquired, Brothers, what are you doing? Ang ilang tubag, Father, paita kayo kay krisis karon. Ingon sa mga madre, they are the caretakers of the home for the elderly, ang amuhang budget igu-igura sa pagkaon na mo. Kada tuig, mas alegre ang piyesta na mo kung may gamay malang ginagmay nga pag-inom sang beer. Pero karong tuig, daw purtoy dyo, daw wala git mi beer. Mauni, nga nag-ampo lang mi kay San Jose, sang iya panabang, nagbutang mi basiyo sang beer para iya mahantuman o magpadala siya milagro. So, mauni ang narrative sa tigawa nga pare sa iya kauban sa train. So, the priest told the companion of the train, that is the reason why he was smiling. He was amused by their sense of faith of the two old men na nagbutang sa empty nga serbesa sa tiilan sa statwa ni San Jose. And how he found them a bit silly. The gentleman na naminaw sa iya agreed And both of them laughed together dito sa train. The next evening, sunod na gabi, ang pari nakadawat sang tawag sa mga madre. Hello, father. Ingon sa mga sisters na nag-take care sa home for the elders. Thank you kaayo sa ibogin padala na tatlo kakahon sa serbisa. Na surprise ang tiguan ng pari. And he said, Sister, I did not send that. But then he kept quiet for a while and he said, Maybe 
Saint Joseph sent the cerveza. Indeed, nagtabang si San Jose. Pero wala sila kabaw sa rason. Unknown to that priest and the sisters, it so happened that katong lalaki na kasakay sang tiguan nga pare nga iya giistoryahan how he was abused sa tong duwa ka elderly nga nagbutang sang empty beer it so happened that he was the vice manager of a local beer factory <laughs> kag siya nindot ang korason nga kristiano he sent the next day para malipay man ang mga tiguang he sent anonymously katong tulo kakahon sang beer. End of the story. Brothers and sisters, of course, I am not saying we should place beer cans in front of the altars of our statue ni San Jose. Masi makakita ko na sa gawas karon butilyas ang beer. Especially na ay likorban karon. We should be faithful to our authorities and our guidelines. Dili ni mao ang punto sa homily. Dili parte sa serbesa. Pero unsa man ni ang connection sa krisis ni San Jose o ang milagro. We originally set our theme on ecumenical dialogue and the role of St. Joseph, but we have been overtaken by the pandemic. The concern on the relevance of holding a fiesta in the midst of this crisis cannot be avoided. Do we even consider celebrating a fiesta? Perhaps the bottom line question is this, does my devotion to Senor San Jose na ay relation? to the sufferings we are undergoing today? The sacred scriptures gives us insights and answers. Saint Joseph was a man who dealt with crises not only once, but several times in his life. First was the crisis of his relationship with Mary found with a child. It was easy to succumb to public perception of betrayal and just leave them. But he chose to love Mary and he chose the baby in her womb when he heard the guidance of God in a dream. Second, the crisis of the birth of his firstborn. Ask any father who is a good provider and he will tell you that all he desires is to provide well for his family. At that point, Joseph could not even provide a proper place for birthing for his wife and child. It was only the shelter of the cave, the manger, and the hay as a bed. But that night, he served as midwife to Mary and his child. Yes, Joseph became the first heart, together with Mary, that received our Savior. Third crisis, it was triggered by the flight or escape to Egypt due to the threat on the life of the baby. You may not know this, Joseph and the Holy Family suffered similar pains of our OFWs being uprooted from home in order to protect his family. Yet he endured this all, following the guidance of the angel, the messenger of God. Upon his return, when his son was lost at the temple, they frantically searched for him for days, only to find him remaining behind, discussing with the wise elders. Now there was a family crisis here of some sort, as a family, they overcame this with dialogue and following God's will. So, brothers and sisters, in all these moments, we can see one recurring point. Our very own patron, 
St. Joseph suffered crises. He knows how it feels to be under the struggle and the pain and the burden of encountering crises. However, he conquered them all because of his deep love, his deep faith, and his dialogue with God in prayer. I keep thinking the frontliners who sacrifice to help others, even though they long to be with their families, the families who hold on to hope, our sisters who serve during these difficult times, and they go to St. Joseph consistently, humbly, for guidance. Our people struggling to be healed. And even those unknown people, nga nagatabang lang, without even getting recognition, to help alleviate the sufferings of others. In the midst of crisis, they become our modern day extension of Senor San Jose. In our fiesta, during this pandemic period, we Mandawinhons celebrate this heritage of faith that no pandemic can destroy. The faith that keeps us strong through tough times. The faith that will help us survive. The faith that will help us overcome no matter what. So today when we say Happy Fiesta, and I would like to end here, we mean be assured of God's through St. Joseph. When we say Happy Fiesta, we say by following his example, healing will come to our community. When we say Happy Fiesta, we say may you become examples and extensions of the miracle like St. Joseph. So help us God.